Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review or tool comparison anyways is going to be a Klein Tool self-adjusting wire stripper cutter. This is 110616 is the part number on that. And if it looks familiar to you, maybe other than the red handles, is because I just had the review for the Milwaukee 4822-3082 self-adjusting wire stripper and cutter. And there they are side by side. But the reason why I have this one in my hand is because many of you in that video said well the Klein with the blue handles it's better than that Milwaukee and by that I'm assuming that means you've tried both of them and so you know that there is a difference between this one or this one and I didn't buy this one my buddy that watched my video on this that works around me locally he called me this morning and said hey I went to go pick up one of the Milwaukee strippers that you were using and Home Depot sold out of them and I said hey if you go over to Lowe's They've got a blue handled Klein that some people said was better. It's a dollar more. I said, if you buy that one, uh, I'll let you pick whichever one of the two you want and I'll keep the other one. So I didn't buy this one, but I asked him to let me use it for a day to kind of go over it and see how different it is or how similar it is to this Milwaukee. So we're going to go over the features and I'm going to cut the same exact wire, do the same exact things that I did with this Milwaukee stripper, but do it with this Klein stripper and see if there's any different. But let's go ahead and get into the features. So features wise, if we look into the Kleins, you see that they have this cutter down here. They also will strip what the packaging says is 12-2 and 14-2 Romex or NM cable or 10-20 to AWG solid. 12 to 22 AWG stranded. And again, it's got the same exact features as the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee also has that cutter down there in the same exact spot. If you look at the packaging on the Milwaukee, which I had to dig out of the trash, but it's 10 to 20 gauge solid, 12 to 22 gauge stranded, 12 to 14 to NM or Romex. Uh, and if I'm being honest with you, I mean, they're the exact same pliers. There's no way they're not the same exact pliers made in the same exact place. Cutters in the same place. Every screw is in the same exact place. A lot of the screws and things on the Milwaukee are black. Where are they? Are like a you know satin nickel-y type finish, chrome type finish on the Kleins. Uh, but if you look at the back here, exactly the same. The handles, even those little holes in the handles, are in the exact same place. I know many of you said that these were better than these, but I just don't see how they can be. But we're going to put them to test here in a minute and see. Uh, but they, to me, they look like they're exactly the same. If you look at the you know stop. Let me go ahead and loosen this up. The stops are exactly the same, same shape, same everything. So to me, they're exactly the same. But just in case you are here and you're just watching for this Klein, you haven't watched the video I have on the Milwaukee. Uh, so you have this cutter. Uh, you, have, you can strip those wires that I'm about to show you here in a minute. It's self-adjusting, so you don't have to do anything except maybe adjust this tension a little bit whenever you go to maybe a different gauge wire. Uh, but you can adjust the tension right here. It's just a knob that you turn minus plus whichever way if you're maybe transitioning from a really small wire to a big wire or something else and then you have this stop block here so you can get repeatable strips if you want to if you can adjust this by again loosening this knob here adjusting this stop to wherever you want your wire to hit in order to strip it at this point tighten that down that holds it in place or you can move it out of the way and then tighten this down and then run your cables all the way through if you want to strip more sheathing off so same exact features as the Milwaukee, but now let's see how well this one performs, see if it performs any better. So if you watch the Milwaukee video, you're going to remember that the cutters cut fine on single wires. It's whenever I got into the actual Romex or NM cable that it became an issue, but here's a 10 gauge stranded. So I'm going to stick that in there, squeeze that, it cut through that no issue. Same as the Milwaukee, so if it's going to do that, it's obviously going to do most of the other wires that are smaller than 10 gauge individually by themselves where the milwaukee in my opinion struggles was whenever i was cutting this entire uh, cable of 12 2 so it's got three wires in there and that's what the milwaukee had on the front picture in the picture of it cutting that and if i squeeze on that with this basically feels the same to me i can't tell one bit of difference between it i still have to kind of almost two hand it uh, you could probably do it with one if you really, really squeezed on it hard. But to me, that's just that's too much effort. I'd get out my diagonals and do that all day before I sit there and use this. Uh, here's some 14.3 uh, going through that. A little bit easier. That's definitely one hand doable. And then, of course, if you can do 14.3, you would think 14.2 is something that you're going to be able to do as well, which I don't have anything in there that's just sheathing. So we'll go with 14.2 right here. And cut right through that as well so 
Cutters are basically the same in my opinion. They will cut single wires pretty decent. You get into doing the whole entire cable all at once, then that's a little bit iffy. Uh, but you can do it. It's just not real easy. I think you're going to want to use another tool. So now let's get into stripping. Uh, as far as this is that 10 gauge stranded, Milwaukee's did fine with this. I've got this tension set up all the way. I'm just going to do that because that's what I did on the Milwaukee. Uh, so I put that in there. That was really easy. You know, no issue whatsoever. Pulls that off. You got a clean cut because all it's doing is pulling that insulation. Works just fine. So now let's get into 14.3. This is something that it didn't claim that it would do, either the Klein or the Milwaukee, but it did work on the Milwaukee as far as pulling the sheathing off. So I'm going to put that in here. And it still pulls the sheathing off on 14.3. And I can never get the paper much to come off on the 14 gauge sometimes it will on the 12 gauge and then the 14.3 if i put the wires in there if maybe you get some like this that's got the ground on the outside i'm gonna see if i put that in there if i can strip all these at one time and i'm gonna push this up but i couldn't do the 14.3 with the milwaukee's and it doesn't look like i'm going to be able to do it with this either for whatever reason it's just maybe if you get just right and get lucky you can get it yeah so you can do it it just it just doesn't want to do it for some reason i think it's because you're real close to out here on this out outside edge so the 14.3 it did strip all three of those wires at one time but it's not crazy easy to do so uh, here's 10 gauge solid which is the maximum that it says that it will do so we'll show you that no issue doing that and this wire even has kind of that little bit extra plastic on top of it but the milwaukee did that one too so that's all the stuff that the milwaukee seemed to do uh, anyways same exact thing in my opinion what we're going to get into now is that blue wire the one that we were having an issue with but remember i kind of learned a little bit of tricks with that but i'm not going to use the tricks first off with this klein and we're going to see if it makes any difference at all the fact that it's a klein and not a milwaukee so again i'm putting that in there i'm going to squeeze on that same thing i didn't really get any grip on it well, that time it got it and didn't really pull back that clear like it did with the Milwaukee. So I'm going to try it again. That one did it. That one did it. That one did it. So, in my opinion, that's just my opinion based on, let me go ahead and get the Milwaukee's back out and do it exactly the same. I was having an issue with the Milwaukee's if I didn't do that trick of pulling my wire up like this. Well, Milwaukee's are doing it now this way, so... Maybe I've just gotten better at using these. But see, there's the Milwaukee on that blue wire. Working and working there. I think part of it too might be if you hold this wire up here close to this, even if, even if you don't do the up motion. I have noticed that in the last two days as I've been using these. Because if I hold it farther back here, it's almost as if it lets it slip. See, that's the issue right there. I don't have anything kind of holding this wire from allowing it to move if I'm far away from it. So after I got through it that first time. But see, I'm having that same issue. So again, I think they work exactly the same. It's just a technique that you gotta get down when working with this THN that has that clear coating on the outside because you're going through two coatings that you're pulling apart versus if I pull up here now and I grab it close, even with the Milwaukee's, I'm still getting it, able to pull that apart just the same as I was with the Kleins. So, Kind of the same. I don't know. The climb might be slightly better, but I don't know why. I think it's just technique because there's just no difference. There's no way that it's really any different. So in my opinion, still about the same, but performance wise, it does look like it might be doing a little bit better. 14.3 still pull or 14.2 easily pulls the sheathing. And again, if you come in here and get the paper off of it, because that paper is real slick, it will cause the thing to slip and then kind of again lift up and do it it's going to pull them off every single time and then we'll finish up with the 12 2 again going to go in here put it through take off the sheathing it always takes off the sheathing of the 12 2 just fine and then it even goes through the paper on this particular wire again it probably matters what brand you have you still got to pull the paper off the ground wire but then once you get into that Again, if you go into here with the 12-2 and grab a hold of all three wires at one time, I'm going to do the pull-up technique a little bit or at least put my finger right here 
pop that, you can see that it stripped both the neutral and the hot at the same time. So again, that's where the time savings might would come in. And again, we talked about different things about the sheathing and all that in part two of the Milwaukee video. But there's the Klein version of the self-adjusting wire strippers going through the same exact thing that I went through with the Milwaukee's. To be they're exactly the same. I don't know that you're going to get a crazy benefit one over the other. You can let me know if you've watched both videos. If you feel like one looks like it performed better than the other. But really it's just your personal preference on maybe do you like the Klein tool grips because the grips are a little bit different than the Milwaukee. Uh, you got maybe some more texture on the face of it here than what you do on the Klein's. These are a little bit more slick. Uh, but it's just up to you to me. They're pretty much identical exactly the same I don't think if you if they will work with the wire you're using I don't think you can probably go wrong with either one But let me know in the comments below which one you thought won if any or if it was a tie Or if you've got either one of these if you picked these up since the video I know many of you said that you already had these uh, Let me know what you think about them, but hope this was useful in some way you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video